guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Mali. I've been to Kenya for two weeks and I went to national museums and Bomas in Kenya. In this video, I'd like to discuss the diminishing lifestyles and dwellings of ethnic groups in Kenya, as well as the country's history, politics, current situation, and culture. Kenya is a multi ethnic nation with 42 different tribes, each having its own distinct way of life and language. The dwellings of these tribes are traditionally built using materials like mud and wood. On the other hand, in other areas, buildings are mostly made of concrete and brick, with well-developed infrastructure. Swahili and English are widely used as a common languages, and these two languages are also taught in schools. As a result, opportunities to speak native languages have decreased, leading to gradual fading of each tribe's traditions and culture. For example, in my host family, the mother was born between the Maasai and Kikuyu tribes and spoke four languages, but her child could only speak Swahili and English. Kenya is a country advanced in English education, having been a British colony since 1895. The primary school enrollment rate stands at 92.5%, which is relatively high, but the dropout rate increases as students progress through grades posing a challenge to the education system. Some tribes continue their traditional way of lifestyle without sending their children to school. Even for those who graduate from university, finding employment is difficult, with only about 18% of the population in regular employment. Of these, around 70% are engaged in agriculture. Kenya gained independence from Britain in 1963 through military and diplomatic efforts led by nationalists. In 1964, it became a republic and new policies were formulated in social, economic and educational fields. Land owners was also transferred to Kenyan government and land previously owned by Europeans was sold to Africans. However, these lands were transferred to Kenyan voters leading to inquiries after independence. The post-independence government focused on improving the lives of its citizens by enhancing medical services, education, employment opportunities, and infrastructure. Nevertheless, unemployment remains high, and the job creation is a significant issue. The African market is a high risk and high return, and the population of Africa's 54 countries is expected to exceed 2.4 billion by 2050. There is a possibility that the economy could become integrated similar to the EU. However, political and economic instability, coupled with frequent internal conflicts and terrorism, make it difficult for foreign companies to invest. If economic growth does not surpass the pace of population growth, unemployment will worsen and the proportion of the impoverished population may increase. Expanding employment opportunities for women and refugees, as well as securing decent work, are critical challenges. After going to Kenya and living together with the locals, I was able to learn about the country from various aspects including its culture, history, and political policies. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Bye!